Light rail transit is an efficient type of urban rail transportation. But when built with elevated tracks, its construction requires dense columns, limiting the construction process. South Korean researchers have developed a new technology that increases the distance between these columns up to 200 meters without cables. Jung eun has more. Light rail transit or light rail is 50 percent faster than the bus and can carry up to 16 times as many people. Narrow gaps between the pillars of elevated structures used for light railway lines, however, cause traffic congestion and spoil a city's aesthetics. That's why subways are often built even though they're more than twice as expensive to construct compared to elevated light railways. A South Korean research team has developed the world's first elevated light rail structure technology that increases the distance between columns to 200 meters without the use of cables. Unlike the existing method of building pillars and placing the tracks on top, the new method builds the basic frame of the rails in the center. This structure has an integrated upper and lower part which increases the distance between the columns, distributes stress and prevents drooping. The floor is also built with a new material that is 20 percent the weight of concrete. Researchers confirmed the structural safety when a load test was done at the most vulnerable central point of the elevated platform, and it did not collapse under a load of up to 430 tons. The structure also did not shake even when subjected to super strong winds of 80 meters per second or an earthquake of 6.5 magnitude. The distance between the elevated structure pillars are genuinely 3 to 40 meters, but the newly developed structure technology can reach the world's longest span of 200 meters in an urban area. The upper and lower structures can be prefabricated at a factory. This allows constructors to precisely assemble them in module units on site with special equipment and minimize traffic congestion during construction. The Korea Railroad Research Institute will further advance the technology through local government demonstration projects, commercialize it and develop it into a global Korean technology. The research team has succeeded in verifying the structural performance in real size, and the developed technology is expected to be applied to new South Korean light rails as well as exported overseas. Jung Eun-ju, Arirang News.